In today's video, we're opening every set released in the year 2023. What's up guys, we are back with another insane Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This is a very long video because, well, I don't know, I don't know that it's a long video. I'm just assuming it's gonna be long because there were 20 new releases in 2023 and I'm not including OTS packs or starter decks. So other than those two, 20 new releases. And I not only have a pack of each, I have a box of each of these items. So yeah, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ruxin 34 Mega Mystery Pack 2.0 Wave 2, Ruxin 34, and of course, Sassy Auto. If you guys wanna win that, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what was your favorite set from 2023. It's gonna be fun to see all of them, and we're probably gonna do another video talking about my favorites and the absolute best. And this one, I'll obviously talk about it because it's gonna be long, but I'll actually rank them in a separate video. All right, we're going in reverse chronological order. So we're starting with Valiant Smashers, the most recent set. Also, if you do happen to want to buy one of each set in the entire year, Sassy Auto is gonna have a special link down below. It's also an affiliate link with me. So go check it out. If you guys wanna buy one of each set every year, I don't know what it's gonna cost, to be honest. I don't even know what I've paid for these because he just sent them to me and I haven't even paid for them yet. So shout out to Sassy Auto for making this video happen. Uh, probably a little expensive for 20 releases, but if you do want to just like maybe sit on, uh, you know, one release of the entire year, or maybe you want to do an opening like me, go check it out. We figured it'd be a pretty niche thing for people to want to pick up. Probably not everybody going to do that, but I figured if you like this video and you're like, you know, it'd be really fun to open all those, then you should go for it. So we gave that option to you guys. So I'm going to take all these packs out. I'm not going to really bother. I'm going to do one quick little shuffle thing that's it that's all we're gonna do because we have a lot of packs to open today i'm hoping to pull some collector rares some 25th anniversaries you know whatever we can get i think there's starlights at some point no pack trick today because we are going to be opening a lot of packs and while i do love the pack trick i don't want this video to be three hours long you know i'm hoping we can keep it around an hour but it's probably not going to be an hour so this by the way i didn't say this set was released valiant smashers on november 17th 2023 so obviously the most recent set you guys remember this already we are what a star! We got an error ultra rare. Look at that miscut. Our first high, like not high rarity, but our first foil in quotations or hit, I guess, of the entire opening is a miscut ultra rare. Wow, this is going to be a good video, guys. What, what a start. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. That thing was crazy. That was awesome. Can't spend too much time on it because we have to get to all our pulls, but that is so cool. Wow, we didn't get any of those. Did we get any miscuts like that in this set? I don't think we did. I think we got another one. Oh my gosh. I wish I had the whole case that he sent. Uh, he only sent me like a box from, he said he got he got cases, he opened them up and gave us one box. I wish I had the whole case now. This They're probably all like this. The anguish, look at that miscut. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this already. What an amazing start to this opening, guys. Wow, this is awesome. We have Valmonica, pretty amazing Imperial Custom. This is this is a great start. You can't really make that up. We do an entire entire year. <laughs> we get an error error card. That's so cool. Two two error cards, not just one, two. Wow, Valiant Smashers. Well, I, the thing is, I, you know, I didn't like Valiant Smashers. I still don't love it, obviously, but it's aged a lot. It's not aging too badly. Like there's some really good cards in here. The uh, Centurion, which I know I said wrong in all the new openings, the Centurion stuff is doing well. So that's good to see. That's the thing with these collector rare sets is they're not the most fun to open or anything like that. But if one of the archetypes is good, they age really well until they get that reprint and then they have a nicer like secret rare version of everything and then it becomes worthless. So there's like it's kind of in that sweet spot right now for probably the next year where if Center Ion continues to do well and doesn't get anything banned, then it's going to be a pretty decent set. Uh, to get some value out of not necessarily make your money back because guess what you're never going to make your money back at least never is a strong is like not necessarily always true but it's better to go with never make your money back than the point one one percent or just regular one percent time that you actually do so just plan on not making it back when you open stuff up but you know if you're going to get like a 25 dollar ultras or 150 dollar collector rares sometimes it's going to happen okay so we have a normal one there not an error also an anguish so very weird. We got a miscut and then a regular. So a repeat ultra. Very interesting. This is a weird start. Very weird start to our opening, guys. 
Man, this is fun. Uh, I'm excited to do this. We didn't do this last year. I kind of wanted to, and then I realized, man, it's going to take a lot to acquire all of these. I had a lot of the boxes, but I would have to open some of my cases, and I was like, ah, I don't really want to do that. Just to, and then have to buy more, so not even really have it. So, Sassiato was clutch, and he was like, yeah, I got you. I, I've got one of each. I can send them to you. It's like perfect. So that's good. That's made it possible. We're on the we're, we're going pretty fast here with one. I'm going like the same speed as when we do like regular mass openings because we have 19 more products to open up. So that is why I'm flying through even even like the fun ones like Rarity Collection. We're probably going to have to go a little faster, but we are going to get to open Rarity Collection again. And that's always fun. And of course, don't forget, we released new, uh, there's new Legend of Blue Eyes open. I mean, that's pretty exciting, pretty awesome. I probably should have taken a video of all the products, shouldn't I? I didn't do that, whoops. Okay, we have another super, very cool. Three packs left of Valiant Smashers. We have a Center Ion, very cool. Can we get a Collector Rare or a Quarter Century? Doesn't look like it, not on that one at least. Let's try here, one more chance. Give me one more chance. All right, super, didn't happen. All right, the next release was Rarity Collection on November 3rd. So we're going reverse chronological just because I wanna to get to the stuff we haven't seen in a while at the end. So we'll get to Rarity Collection right here. Obviously this was an amazing set that we all loved. Super fun to open. I'm hoping we can get some crazy pulls here because some of these uh, quarter centuries are not cheap right now. Back in November, so just about a month, month-ish ago, a little bit more than that. I'm not gonna do any shuffling. We're just gonna go straight into it. We have 24 packs. Five cards per pack. Let's see if we can get some big stuff. Some nice rarities. Secret rare. Herald. We got triple tack. Lightning storm. Very good cards there. Rarity collection bulk. Some of the best bulk ever made for sure. It's going to be incredible. We have elder entity. We have tour guide. Our first high rarity. Cherubini. Ebon angel. The burning abyss. That is a collector rare. I wonder if we're going to have one of those weird boxes where it's all collector rares. I had a box to open up for you guys that was all collector rares. Then I accidentally gave it away in one of the giveaways. So if you get it and you get all collector rares. Yeah, that was supposed to be for a video. <laughs> okay, Baron, we have, oh, an Eldritch. That's beautiful. Quarter Century, we got uh, Danger. We got a, another Collector Rare, it seems. Might have another error. Could be just Collector Rares in this box. No Ultimate Rares. We have Danger, we have Small World, Reinforcement of the Army, Ice Dragons, and Ice Barrier. Should be able to go through this box pretty quick if we don't really, you know, waste any time. We have Egyptian God Slime. That's another collector. I feel like we got an all collector rare box. Might be the thing. You get like eight or nine collector rares instead of rare, uh, ultra rares. Okay, we have a junk speeder and Eldritch. I'm still, oh, still sad that I did that. It's like, man, that was gonna be a fun video just to show that off. Reasoning, we have, oh, there's a platinum rare. Cyber Angel. Okay, good stuff so far. One quarter century, you usually get three, I think. Ash Blossom. Lone Fire Blossom, a couple blossoms in there. What will this be? Fallen of Albaz, Reasoning, Luna, Nightmare Unicorn. Second, but we still have 18 more products after this. So hopefully you guys like long videos because you're about to experience one of the longest. I mean, we have had a lot of long videos on the channel, but this is going to be one of them for sure. We have Pot of Prosperity, Secret, Ash Blossom, and Effect Veiler, all in Ultra Rare Plus. Pretty good. Okay, we got, oh, a Heat Soul. I think this is the one that's now like, crazy expensive i think it went up to like 150 there's another collector i don't think we're getting ultra ultimates in this box guys this one i think went crazy in price on tcg player so we'll take that i'm not mad if that's 150 bucks that would be incredible that will definitely help with our expenses buying all these boxes we have a nightmare unicorn nadir's servant very cool okay 25th anniversary let me know in the comments make sure to let me know your favorite set of the year i think uh rarity collection is going to take a lot there's a small world quarter century it's not bad and a pot of extravagance also not bad another collector rare we've already pulled so many i'm almost certain we're not getting an ultimate which seems to be the case in a lot of boxes which is very weird okay ice dragons prison good stuff we have elder entity vision Hero ferris fairy tale luna where are you ultimate rares we have a win we have a called by we have a tour guide collector rare yeah we're definitely getting we definitely have an error box here which would have been uh okay for a video okay we have a platinum as well only two platinums so far two platinums we have three quarter centuries so i don't know if we're getting any more of those extrav we got we got a heat soul in the cheap version not the quarter century uh barrier shit all schism any ultimates maybe in the last few packs probably not we have lone fire nibiru another collector rare so it's collector rare central jarvis uh told me about this and i was like what do you mean you haven't seen an ultimate rare before this is a platinum he's like dude every box i open is every box i open doesn't have collector rare well it seems like he was or only has collector rare. it doesn't have any ultimates and he still i don't think has pulled one <laughs> 
And now I'm feeling his pain. We have a Boralode Savage. That's a good one, though. I'll take that. Turned out to be, I mean, if that Heat Soul is actually the price that I heard it went up to, that's actually a crazy box. All right, third to most recent set is Age of Overlord. This is an October 20th release, so still fairly new. This set is actually crazy. SP Little Knight's still really expensive. So if we can pull that, uh, Quarter Century is huge. Obviously, we'd be very happy about that. So let's see if we can get it. All right, 24 packs, guys. We are on our third box of the uh, of the year. We got 20 different sets. It's going to be quite the opening. They're not all booster boxes. Like some are like a couple speed duel products. We have the legendary collection 25th anniversary that came out. We only did one mini box of that because a full display would be like just opening one of those takes like 30 minutes by itself. So. Yeah, we didn't have time. There's a, oh, that's a good one. Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. I haven't seen a price since I opened this early on, but this was the second best secret at the time. And it was up around like 50, 60. I'm guessing it's not that much anymore, but I, it could be. So that's a really good secret to start off with. Age of Overlord, very nice set. These cards, there's so many more cards. There's nine cards instead of five. It feels crazy. Gin, Gin and Kin are in here as well. Very cool. Somebody asked me to sign some of those on their giveaway the other day. Speaking of giveaways, go check out the cute community tab, YouTube community tab on my page. You guys can make sure that you've won or see if you've won. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. There's an ultra rare. But if you have, make sure to contact me because I'm almost all the way caught up. I think I have one person I'm waiting on a response. There's a couple people where they'll send you an email and then you'll respond like seven times trying to get them to, to respond back and they never do. So uh, a few of you guys have done that, like probably like five people in the last year. And so if, I, if you're watching this, you're like, oh, I never responded when I won the giveaway. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten it. Go back and check the email thread because I probably followed up like four times and uh, you haven't responded. So do that so you can win. But for the most part recently, people have actually been claiming and responding about giveaways really well. So we've been giving away a much higher percentage, like we're probably giving away like 80% of the giveaways now. Cause like before it was like, I would post them and only like half the people would claim them. And then I'm just like, well, okay, I guess we're just gonna have to re-give these away or something like that. So that is the, I mean, giveaways are the absolute bane of my existence. Uh, <laughs> I've thought about quitting giveaways, but I feel bad for the people who've been trying to win for a long time. Only the people who don't complain about it though. The people who are like, I've been on here for three years, ain't won nothing, this guy's a scammer. That's a little frustrating because it's like, you know, I've put in so much work on those giveaways. I've, I've spent thousands of dollars shipping them. The cost of the value of the stuff is expensive. And then the time is the absolute craziest part. It just takes forever. So it's a little it's a little unfortunate when you see people like saying I'm scamming people and stuff like that with the giveaways. And I'm like, I don't I just don't get it. So that that's the part that sucks about giveaways. And it makes me just be like, and do I, is it even worth it? to do the giveaways, but then I remember the people that have been supporting and the real reason I do the giveaways is for the supporters and it's just a bonus for you guys. If you're watching the channel already, I want you to have a chance to win something and I want you guys to get something cool like a booster box or, you know, even if it's only a couple cards, like sometimes we do like two or three cards. I just want you guys to have a chance to win something. So yeah, yeah, I don't know how we got into that. Yeah, YouTube community tab, go see if you want because I've been doing good keeping up with them recently. And if I keep up with them, it's a little bit easier not to, you know, have like a million posted at once and then I'm not so swamped. But I want you guys to go check it out. Make sure you didn't win or you didn't miss anything. TG limiter removal, not a good one. <laughs> not so great, Age of Overlord. But as you know, this is gonna be a long video, so we're probably gonna have some tangents here. We're gonna have some tangents, stuff like that, a mini podcast while we're opening all the, all the boxes. Age of Overlord, I would say, is probably gonna rank pretty highly when I rank all the, uh, sets i think it's probably one of the better sets of the year it's incredible it's like it had value I mean, it had great commons while they didn't have value they were at least wanted you know people would open a box just to get the ken and the gin and stuff like that or gin is it gin or gin i'm not sure how you say it uh then there's a huge secrets there's some good quarter centuries it's just a solid set some good archetype stuff in here so it's always nice to have a core set that does really well like this and I'm a big fan of nice sets because obviously it's better for everybody if the sets are good. Whether you're buying, selling, playing, whatever you're doing with the set, it's just good for the set to be good. You know, it just makes sense. The set sucks, nobody's happy. It's just not good. And Age of Overlord, it was a good one. That and Rarity Collection back to back did really well. I mean, they're both really awesome sets that people were excited about. And hopefully they will continue to make some banger core sets as we go. And as you know, I like opening core sets better than I like collector rare sets because collector rare sets are just weird. You know, the ratios and everything aren't that fun. Okay, the set that came out before Age of Overlord, can you guess it? It was the 25th anniversary 10 of Dueling Heroes. So 
We're only opening one tin. We're not opening a case or anything. We're not going, going crazy, but this was released on September 8th, 2023. I don't really need to say 2023 because they're all 2023, but I'm still doing it. There are promos in here, so we're hoping we get some good promo or a promo. Dark Magician Blue Eyes. Well, there's no Blue Eyes, right? Dark Magician. Firewall. Okay, that's, that's not a great one, but we'll keep it sealed. Three packs. Let's see what we can get from these Mega Packs. I don't really remember what's in here in the Mega Packs. I, I remember them being just decent, not like crazy good. Let's see, we have a Naturia Mole Cricket, Dynamo Free Domain, Runic Golden Droplet, the Arachphobia, Draco Slayer, and Scarecrow to Klein. All right. Okay, Dueling 10. What shall we get for you? We have Ice Jade. We have Kagodo. Rika Princess. There's a couple supers. No, a super. Rika, Ultimate Fusion. Air on the Labyrinth Servant, and we have a Fluunderese. All right, some good stuff there. I don't remember what's big in here. I don't think there's a big card in here, is there? It's not like there's no Pot of Prosperity or anything like that. There's just some good stuff, you know, solid good stuff. We have the Orochi, Groza, Amazon War Chief, Labyrinth Labyrinth, and Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. Very nice. Very good. Very good. All right, that was a quick one. And we have another quick one because we have a Speed Duel Streets of Battle City. This set was released August 25th. This one is mostly structured decks, so we're just going to open up the promo packs. But inside, you got some cool decks with, you know, Arcana Dark Magician in there. I mean, just a really cool looking product. If you want to look at more, if you haven't seen this, I have a whole video about this. You can go check that out. Just type in the name of the set and it'll probably come up in YouTube, Rux and 34 or whatever. So let's open this up. Speed Duel is a pretty fun little thing that I think is not super popular, but I think some people will really enjoy it and I don't really blame them. There's all the decks. We're not gonna open the decks because yeah, we just don't have time for it. Some people get mad at me for not opening the decks sometimes. They're like, why don't you open them? I'm like, well, there's, it's, you know, you know what's in there. You know, it's not a lot of entertainment value. I guess you get to see the cards, but in this video, I don't think we have time to do that. We're gonna have a long video. So we get, this is guaranteed, Arcana Dark Magician, Slifer, also guaranteed. And then these are random, Dark Magic Curtain, Anti-Magic Arrows, Night Beam, Creature Swap, a lot of spell cards. We have a Widespread Ruin and a Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. That's a very nice one. So some really, really good promos. That's the best thing about the Speed Duel products. Okay, the next one is probably gonna be our stinker of the year, but I haven't actually done the research yet. But you guys can probably guess it. August 11th, we were blessed with Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano. And while I said we're gonna open a booster box of every set, I'm considering just opening one pack of this set and just moving on because we could get a Ghost Rare and that's kind of like, there are some decent ultra rares in here, so maybe I should open this. The thing is that, you know, let's open it. Let's open it. I was considering just doing one pack, but now the more I think about it, some of the ultras are actually okay, uh, they, at least in terms of value. Uh, they maybe like $10 ultras and stuff like that. And then the ghost isn't like too cheap. Like it's better than Synchro Storm was. So really, it's not like as horrible as it originally was, which is good. You know, that's aging kind of well. The problem is there's 36 packs here that we got to go through. Let's see if we can get something good. Let's just go straight to the big, I don't know where the rare, I mean, I think they're kind of different. It could be like the fourth slot or the third slot. Okay, there's a super, not guaranteed. Number C79, I don't know if it's, I don't really know, if, I don't think any of the supers are great, but I'll keep an eye on it. We have Volcanic Doomfire. A lot of packs to be open today. We're what, this is the sixth set out of 20 we're gonna be opening today. So we have, I'm looking over that. There's a lot of booster boxes left. Thanks to the, the 25th anniversary reprints. I mean, that was five at once. That's going to make that section pretty long, but I know you guys like 25th anniversary and you guys like, well, you really you guys really like the legacy reprints. That's the good stuff. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. Very nice. Well, double, double pack pull right there. Soul Burning Volcano. Here we go. The burning of the volcano. If we get a ghost rare, that'd be pretty nice. I, I, I might forgive this set and say it's pretty awesome if we get the ghost out of one box. 1 in 12, so that's not likely, but that's why it would be so fun. Man, I can't open this pack. It never wants to open the right way. Another reason I'm, gonna, I'm hating on it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do it right this time. There we go. That went well. Working on our pack opening. There's a Raging Phoenix. I think that's pretty decent, so that's, that's nice. Take a Raging Phoenix. You guys have seen the prices on the screen before I do, so I'm just going to be guessing, unfortunately. Haven't opened Soul Burning Volcano. Well, I technically opened one pack the other day. I was recording a video and open one pack of it just for fun. I think we, I feel like we actually got an ultra. I don't remember which one it was because I haven't actually posted the video yet, but I was like, oh wow, one pack magic, we'll take it. We'll take it, even if it's Soul Burning Volcano, I'm not mad. Oh, a Battle and Boxer Promoter, another ultra. I don't think the Battle and Boxers are the good ones, but could be wrong. I feel like the Volcanics are kind of expensive just because people like them and 
you know, not a lot of people crack this set compared to normal. Not as much hype set, but the Salaman Great uh, Phoenix. No, what is he called? Salaman Great Tiger. That's nice. The Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf. There we go. I was like, what's the ghost shirt called? Sunlight Wolf. It's an old card, but I couldn't remember anyway. August. So we're back in August. We're about to get to the summer months of 2023 when there was just release central. It was like, you know what? You're going to get a million releases and you're going to like it, you know? You're going to like every second of it. Let's see what we can get. Volcanic Doomfire. Oh, no. Almost threw the cards. All right. What's this guy's name on the front? I can never remember his name. Uh, I've never actually seen it, but I, yeah, I'm not even going to guess because I'll guess some guy from another series and then I'll be like, what? You didn't know that, you dummy? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we have Volcanic Rimfire. Rimfire. Watch out. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Why are you opening? There we go. Head boxer. I'm going to get this one. There we go. Got that one. Beautiful. Battle and Boxer, Volcanic Doomfire. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. We have a seventh force. We're the first six. Not totally sure. What about you, Salaman Great? Okay. Burst Griffin. We'll take that. Another Ultra. We're getting some good cards as we go. Some Ultras. Are we going to get anything above that? Another seventh force. That was pretty close together, too. That's kind of weird. We didn't shuffle or anything on these, so... That's just completely how the box was laid out. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys. Can we get something awesome? So far, no quarter century, no ghost. I mean, we did, well, we did in rarity, but that doesn't count because they're guaranteed. So uh, even though we did get a good one with Heat Soul. But we haven't gotten anything crazy. No CR. We're looking for stuff like that. Three packs like three packs left, I should say. Not like that. Three packs like that. Okay, number C105, two packs left. Can we open something? Battle Box or King Dempsey. Okay, another Ultra. You get a lot of Ultras and Legendary Duelists, so I guess that's a good, but they're the highest rarity, which is kind of weird besides Ghost. All right, Burning Draw, so no Ghost Rare. Can't forgive you for the stinkiest set. And now we have another contender for stinkiest set, released on July 28th, Duelist Nexus. This was, there was quite a long gap between core sets. This was the core set before Age of Overlord. There was a bunch of releases. There was like Soul Burning Volcano, Streets of Battle City, Dueling Heroes. I mean, it was a few months went between, but I mean, it felt really long. I remember when it was, I think, what was the one? It was the Edison turn. Was it Indie? Where Age of Overlord had just come out and they gave us some Duelist Nexus packs on the side event I was in. I was like, dang, I wanted Age of Overlord. Let's see if we can get a big boy to make up for it. Like uh, we're talking, so, you know, quarter century secret could be nice. There's 25 of them in here, I think. I think there, what's the big card in here? Wasn't there one? Well, Magician of Bonds and Unity is in here. I never pulled the Duelist Nexus version. So there's a Heat of the Fire Channeler. I did pull that Heat of the Fire Channeler quarter century in the Japanese version of this box though. So that was pretty cool. We have Magician of Faithfulness. Very nice. Can we pull something epic like a quarter century secret? Come on, we got to get at least one, right? You know, out of all these boxes. Some, some of them don't have them, like the Legendary Duelist, of course, and the uh, la 25th Anniversary reprints. Duelist Nexus, bless us with something crazy. We have, ooh, that's the one, Revolution Synchron. I hope it hasn't gone down too much. Yes, all right, so Revolution Synchron. We also pulled uh, the other big one earlier. We pulled the Wanted, so we're doing okay on like big secret hits. I can't complain about that, that's pretty nice. Revolution Synchron, Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon is super fun. Okay, that was... That's a good pull, guys. Every box being opened up today. Arahime. That's a good one, too, isn't it? I feel like that's a good one. Or maybe that was Odahime. That was really good. I think it was Odahime. But still, that's... I'm not mad. I'm not mad at how we're pulling so far. We have a Ursartic Polar Star. A lot of comments here today. We're not going to bother too much with comments in sets like Duel's Nexus. Because guess what? We've seen them. If you guys want to see the comments, go check out where we opened a billion packs of any of these sets. We've done a live stream. I think the only one we didn't do a live stream was Soul Burning Volcano because it was, you know, you can get the ghost in one case. So I just did it on video. Um, we have a Nightmare Magician. OK, that's pretty cool. Isn't that a retrain of something? That's very familiar artwork from an old school card, but I can't remember what it was now that I'm thinking about it. Not sure, but two secrets is good. One of them being Revolution Synchron. We will take it. Makanko. We have a Infernal Noble Arms Almace. The uh, Zetamazaurus. My common pile is getting very, very tall because we are opening a lot of packs. We have Thessalos, the Shadow Fire Monarch. The Monarchs are making a comeback. Dulis Nexus looking good over there. We have a Magnum the Reliever. Magnum the Reliever. Interesting. 
We've got a Chimera, the Illusion Beast. Chimera, the Illusion Beast. We have Magic Deity. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws. I do like those names. Those are good. Those are very, very good names. Yummy Yugi. I am a yummy. I shall pull the best quarter century secret magician of bonds and unity. Divine domain. That is not it. All right, Kaiba. Believe I will do it. Ha, Yugi. You'll never pull that card. That card's way too powerful for a wimp like you. I gotta work on my Kaiba. Ah, Kaiba, you seem to have been mistaken because we have pulled a quarter century secret rare. But which will it be? Yugi Moto and his friend Yami Yugi will reveal the card. Oh, nice. The cosmic Kesar Dragon. Yami Yugi and Kaiba blessing us with some luck. Let's go. That is sweet. All right. That needs to be a short. That's nice. All right. Quarter century. Let's go. Is it? That's a cover card, too. Cover card, baby. I mean, it may be Duelist Nexus, but it's still a cover card. Okay. Well, that was a good box with the uh, Revolution Synchron and a quarter century. I like that. Now it's time for the Legacy 25th Anniversary Reprint Halftime. Next, we have the simultaneous release of five booster boxes all on July 14th, 2023. We have all five of these. So we're going to start off with Invasion of Chaos. and We're going to go through with that. Let's do IOC. We'll go in reverse chronological order, like as in like, you know, IOC was the newest of these five, even though they're all released on the same day. But this is the reprints. So we're going off the original release dates, etc. So IOC. Let's try to get that Chaos Emperor Dragon. We recently opened all of the first 11 sets in first edition. If you guys missed that, we have edited versions that were posted recently. Uh, I know some of you guys saw it on the live stream, some of you guys saw it in the video. Some of you guys didn't see it at all. So if you didn't see it, the playlist is up on the screen of the uh, all 11 of those. You can watch first edition box openings. So uh, you can go check that out after this video if you'd like. So we're gonna try and pull even better than we pulled in that. So Invasion of Chaos. Can you bless us with that Chaos Ember Dragon? The big three is all going to be in one box. What? Chop Man, Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! He's always giving us good luck. He didn't right there, unfortunately. We have Ojama Yellow. Destruction Ring. We have nothing so far. We are starting off a little slow. But I believe that we can do this. We can make this happen. We can pull all the awesome cards. DD Scout Plane, our first foil. We'll take it. Not a crazy super. IOC doesn't have the craziest supers ever. I also don't know how I'm going to rank these. When I do the rankings for top 10 sets of the year, how am I going to rank these reprints? It's going to be an interesting decision. I got to I gotta go back and see how I did the top 10 last year if I based it off. I think I usually did it off mostly collectability. Maybe I'll put all of these in one, but the thing is, I, it's hard to put these in one in terms of collectability because I think LOB is head and shoulders above all the others just because it's the first. Uh, not necessarily in my opinion, Manticore of Darkness Ultra, because as you know, Metal Raiders is my favorite set, but I think that overall people are going to want the LOB boxes more than Metal Raiders. And that's why they, they, they cost more right out of the gate. So it's pretty obvious. It's not like I'm breaking news here or anything like that, but it, it's going to be an interesting way to have to to rank those. I don't know, because I think I think Metal Raiders is also pretty significantly above the other three, uh, though the other three are all really nice and collectible. Speaking of collectible, Chaos Emperor Dragon, which I will say they did make these 25th anniversary secrets a little bit easier to pull because uh, they made it where you can get obviously both the secrets. So you could do that in 2017. There was never booster boxes, so I don't know if the ratios were increased there or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were. But the originals, you had a hobby or a retail box. So you had to pick hobby retail. You either got hobby with Chaos Emperor Dragon or retail with Invader of Darkness. You got a secret every like two ish boxes. Some some people even say three. There's a chop man. I don't know if it was as extensive as one out of three. I feel like it was one out of two based on the boxes I've opened. But even then, you know, one out of two is one out of two. Nowadays, because you have both options, there's still one out of two, but you get a secret every box basically because you get either the invader or the chaos emperor. So it's a, twice as easy to get a secret in one of these. So if you're like pulling secrets a lot, you're like, oh, that's weird. That's why. Also, you can even Usually when I was opening the cases, I got one box out of 12 that would have two secrets. They'd have both of them. So it's even increased a little bit more than that. So I think that the secret ratios are definitely easier uh, than they were in the original set. So good or a bad thing, you know, that's just something that's happening. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying that's a thing that's happening. And not like it was hard to pull anyway. It was just like when you when it's old school and the boxes are so expensive, not getting one every box feels hard. 
you know, because you have to buy like a few thousand dollar box date, you're gonna have a chance. But when you can buy 45, 50 dollar boxes, whatever they are right now, then you can get as many as you want, basically, you know, that you can buy a couple boxes, you have like multiples of the secrets. So yeah, that's just something that's, uh, I know some people know, I know some people don't know. There's Dimension Fusion, this is a good box. Chaos Ember Dragon Dimension Fusion, pretty solid. Uh, Dimension Fusion loves me, which I, I'm okay with, because that's one of the best cards in the set. I am okay with that. We have Gora Turtle, two more packs. Been a good start to the legacy legacy boxes we have here. This is the legacy moment. You know, we're having a, a legacy timeout, a little a little legacy halftime. This basically is the halftime, legacy halftime. I kind of like it. Sylphid, we have a uh, Amphibious Bugroth for our last IOC pack. But overall, pretty nice box. All right, Pharaoh serving up next. Will we get that Genzo? And uh, recently, you know, we've, we used to pull Genzo every time. We've had a few openings where we didn't pull Genzo. So we need to get back our, our swag, our mojo back. Let's get that back. Start balling out again. 24 packs of Pharaoh's Servant, the Servant of the Pharaoh. Grave Robber, super rare right off the bat. Oni Tank Rugs in 34, we gotta save that one. That's a good card, beautiful card. What will we get? DNA Surgery. We got a Mad Sword Beast, the Beast. He's mad, he's got a sword. That's right. Cold Wave, Spike Bot, Vampire Baby. We got Kisa Tai and that little finger. Kisa Tai and that little finger. Driving Snow, we have a Morphing Jar number two. Solemn Wishes. All right, Pharaoh, where is your Genzo? Genzo, where are you? Please bless us with an amazing pull. We have an Enchanted Javelin. A Chain Destruction, oh man. Chain Destruction loves me too. I seem to pull that every time. You guys know I pulled that in my first box with my Genzo, my first ever Genzo. There's a Fairy Meteor Crush. Fairy Meteor Crush, Gradius. Shift, where are you, Genzo? PSV Unlimited. We still have Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, and LOB in this halftime of epicness. All seeing YT, oh, oh, do not skip the Oni Tank Rux in 34. Best card ever made. I mean, well, it has some fierce competition with Pequeno Moth and Chicken Lattes, but they are up there in the top three, okay? They're very nice. Millennium Shield, don't forget them. I mean, but here's the thing, not as fun. We don't pull Millennium Shield as much. We have Monster Recovery. Pharaoh's Servant, please recover us a Jinzo. We have a Prohibition, Mr. Volcano. Can you give us something crazy? We are gonna be, this is gonna be a long video, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you wanna see this again next year, make sure to let me know because, you know, if you don't wanna see it, then I won't do it because, you know, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's not that easy. You know, it's very long, a lot of recording. So if you like it, I wanna do it again. If you don't like it, then I won't, you know? So I need to know. I need to know in the comments, guys. Let me know now. We have Gust. Especially if you made it this far in the video, if you did, your clutch. We might have a secret password later, later in the video. So if you make it that far, then you're a real fan. All right, Pharaoh Servant. Can you do this? Cyber Falcon. We have a Fiend Mega Cyber. Okay, ultra rare. Pretty nice. We have three-headed Guido. So far, no Genzo. No secret at all. There is, I think, I have gotten a box without a secret. I think like a couple times, but not often. So it'd be crazy if I just talk about the ratios, we don't pull a secret right here, but I'm pretty sure we'll get one. I'd be surprised if we didn't. We have a, and we got the right one. We got the Jinzo. let's go. That is beautiful. So awesome. Could have been Imperial Order, which obviously we would prefer Jinzo, but either way, pretty nice secret rares. It was down at the end too. It made us sweat a little bit. I was starting to get a little worried. Two packs left out of Pharaoh's Servant. Still a lot of good potential in these boxes we're opening up. We've done a pretty well opening. Chaos Ember Dragon Genzo. We pulled the two ones that we wanted so far at the 25th. We didn't get the Invader. We didn't get the uh, Imperial Order either. So I'll take it. All right, Spell Ruler. Also released July 14th. Let's see if you can get that Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. We've been doing well getting the ones we want. Let's see if we can continue that right now. All right, Spell Ruler. Give us that. Oh, there's a Hungry Burger. Oh, upside down. We're doing this. We're doing it like this. Okay, yeah. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that crap. We're just going straight through. We ain't flipping you around no matter what you try to do. Uh-uh. Not doing it. Tune World. There's a super. Very nice. All right, Tide. Geosian. High Tide, Yosian, Fire Kraken, Liquid Beast. All right, give us some secret. We need Blue Eyes Tune, we need Relinquished, we need uh, su Tune Summon Skull, UFO, Guardian of the Throne Room, the little brother. Where's his big brother? That's the question. Spell Ruler, come on. Nimble Mamonga, Nimble Mamonga. We have Spell Ruler. Come on, Spell. Oh, we got a piece of pack flying everywhere. We have a Sonic Bird. The Sonic Burb has been acquired. But can we acquire the Blue Eyes Tune? 
Toll, give me your money, you young laddie. All right, come on, Blue Eyes Tune. Come on, baby. Mahavila, we'll take it. It's a good card, good super. I think Spell Ruler, probably my least favorite. Out well, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, out of these five right here, what is my favorite? Well, obviously, Metal Raiders, then LOB. Then it's probably Pharaoh Servant. Then it's between IOC. The thing about IOC is the big three are awesome, but then it's just like Dimension Fusion and like not a ton else. So it's a little bit. You know, you're not, there are not a lot of searches. Magic Ruler has a little bit more nostalgic cards for me. Just like commons and stuff. So maybe that would edge them out. I don't know. It's pretty close. Mystical Space Typhoon. That's a pretty cool ultra. We will take that. Metal Fish and the Coddle Fin. Still a lot of Spell Ruler. I don't exactly know. I don't know. They're all good, obviously. They're all, you know, top, top five sets, probably. Well, not all time, but I mean, they're top five enough to be the ones that get the boxes. So, oh, Serpent Knight. So Serpent Knight. It's a good secret. It's not the Blue Eyes tune. So that's the first time we got the secret we didn't want. But I really like Serpent Eye Dragon. I think the artwork's nice. It's a classic card for sure. It just doesn't have that tune following that Blue Eyes tune has going for it. The tune following is pretty huge. We have a... They're all upside down in that same spot. It's kind of weird. All upside down in the same exact spot. Dark Zebra. It's very consistent though. Very interesting. Uh, well, we got one Ultra or two. Just one, right? Mystical Space Typhoon? So we got hope for relinquished. That'd be cool. Painful choice. More supers. Could have a relinquished in here towards the end. Fire Kraken, Guardian. We have Wall Shadow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. We have Curse of Fiend. Liquid Beast. Five more packs out of Spell Ruler Octo Burser. Course of Sanctuary. Still searching. Seen some hungry burger today. I mean, you can't complain when you see a hungry burger. We might see a collector or a hungry burger later too. Oh, we got the relinquished. What an opening today. Even when we don't get the big secret, we get one of the big ultras, which I know is not expensive. It's going to be like five bucks or something uh, because, you know, there's a million of these boxes printed. The, the singles are not going to hold up super well in terms of value. And they've been printed seven, eight times before this, which you guys have not seen. I have a little series about when the uh, they were printed. I need to make a playlist about that. Vader of the Throne where I opened all the versions of LOB and all the versions of Metal Raiders. Go check those out. I feel like you guys would be interested in that if you missed it. We have a Rush Reckless Lee, very nice. All right, crazy good opening. I'm really hoping that can continue with Metal Raiders, which is my favorite set. You guys know that. Please continue the epicness for MRD because it would just be a shame if it had to end on my favorite set, right? We've done really well. I want Gate Guardian, one Beast Skull, Summon Skull. You know, you can't really go wrong with this set unless we get, let's just not get any of the bad three. Not the big three, the bad three. Let's not get any of those. We have a block attack. I believe it won't happen. We're going to get a Pequeno Moth as well. Pequeno incoming. Harpy's La Harpy Lady Sisters. Very nice. Good stuff. Good Ancient Brain. Illusionist. Faithless Mage. Niwatori. What's that mean again? Can't remember. We have Miles Radiant. And I have a PSA 10 of that too. So pretty cool to have that Niwatori first edition PSA 10. Cheerful Coffin. We have Swamp Battle Guard. Ryu. We got Thunder Dragon. I don't know if Thunder Dragon's a dollar anymore. It's probably not because of these reprints, but I'll set it aside. German Faction. The Winged Dragon, the Guardian of the Fortress. MRD, give us something big. We have Harpy Lady. Oh, and the Gate Guardian. We are crushing it right now. We are crushing it. We are just absolutely killing it. Make sure you go check out our first edition opening the other day from the Whatnot stream that we, uh, we cut it into some nice edits for you guys. There's some, you know, PSA prices. We did only 10s because, you know, having 10s and 9s is like, you know, double the work. Karibo. And I figured it's more interesting to see the really expensive 10 price than it is to see. So we have like the regular price of the raw card. And then we have the PSA 10 because the 9, this Pequeno Moth first time. Very nice. The 9 is very like sometimes it's higher, but pretty similar to the raw card. A lot of times it's not like a huge increase. So kind of want to show there's the Cousin Moth kind of the increased possibility if you get to 10, even if it wasn't going to get a 10. But I saw people were really liking that. Mushroom Man number two. Uh, we're really liking the PSA prices. So I'm glad you guys were liking it. I'll probably try to add that to more, uh, when we do more old school openings in the future. That way you guys can see some potential on those cards. Like some of them we've been going through. Uh, I think it was the Revival Jams, like $630, I think is what it was in a PSA 10. I was like, wow, that is a very expensive super PSA 10. And then there's some ultras that are pretty big too, just because they're a little bit rarer to find. Um, we have a catapult turtle. Still no ultras yet. Very interesting. Thunder dragon. All right, MRD, you're doing pretty good so far, MRD. I'm not going to lie. You are uh, doing well. 
We're in Ocean Snake. We just need a couple of big ultras and then we'll be on our way with happiness. We have Genzo number seven. We have a Destroyer Golem, maybe. Are we going to get any ultras? Hopefully we are. We've had good supers. Karibo is a really good one. Harvey Lady Sisters is great. Mystic Storms. Well, okay. We're down to like seven packs left. No ultra yet. Okay. We have a... Oh, a Summon Skull! You can't beat this. Wow. Gate Guardian Summon Skull in the same box. If we get like B Skull or something in this other one, this is going to be absurd. Or Time Wizard, something like that. The bad three strikes again. Josh, there you go. Josh, I'm speaking to you. I know you want that one. I know you love the Horn of Heaven pulls. Well, can't complain. Gate Guardian Summon Skull. I mean, it's it's worth it. There's Pecania Moth. Beautiful. Garnesia. All right. All right. Baby Dragon. Four packs left. Then we have LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes. Skull Knight. All right, we're about to we're about to make our, our way into the first half of the year after this, too, after we do LOB. Because July, you know, second half, first month of the second half of the year. Mushroom Man number two. Grande Moth, first time pulling that today. Last pack of MRD, what will it be? He is Sube, he is Pibi, he may, I mean, different thing we have. Okay, Shadow Ghoul, so nothing there. Honestly, really good Metal Raiders box, too. All right, Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, the big boy. This is one that I think is actually going to be a pretty solid sealed keep because... Everyone's always going to want LOB. You know, it doesn't matter. They're going to reprint it a million times and it's still going to be a nice box to have. So I think this is pretty a pretty solid buy to keep sealed. Not necessarily open because, you know, obviously the prices of singles are not great for these. OK, let's see if we can continue the epicness. Can we get a blue eyes? Never pulled a first dead, but I'll take I'll take one of these. I wouldn't be mad. Man eater. Very solid. Very good. We did get to open a uh, first edition LOB box the other day. You didn't see that. Go check it out. It's pretty fun. We have a Beaver Warrior. I think it was my third sealed box to ever open up. Fourth box, if you include just one that was complete contents, basically. Four LOB first dead boxes. Very fortunate to be able to do that. I'll probably never get to open another one, to be honest. They're so expensive. Even now, with the prices way down from what they were, if they go down a little bit more, maybe we could potentially open another one at some point. But they were like, you know, 40, 50 for a while. I was like, that's just out of my reach. Right leg at the Forbidden One. We have a right leg. That is not a blue eyes. <laughs> We'll take it though. Exodia is cool. Remember when we completed Exodia? That was pretty fun. We have uh, both in the, the Starlight form and in regular Ultra LOB form. Still pretty fun. I want to do that PSA 10 first editions at some point. Poly, man, this is a pretty good super so far. We'll take it. I guess Man Eater is kind of average, but Poly is really good. Trial of Nightmare Mountain. Legend of Blue Eyes. So cool to see these normal basic cards from LOB just being opened up still. Super fun. Fun reprint. I've enjoyed it, of course. I'm excited to get back to the uh, first half of the year, though. There was some good stuff in there that I have not opened in quite a while. Okay, this is, man, this is going to be our, probably our longest video of the year. I'm trying to think if there was one any longer. Because we did the every pack opening was last year. The second one. And that one went two hours and something, I think, wasn't it? Or maybe it was an hour and 45. I feel like it was two hours and like 15, maybe. So... I don't think we're going to get to that level, Mystical Elf, but this is going to be our longest of the year, I think. We've had a cut. We did have a big long one in Rarity Collection where it was two cases. This is a little bit less than that in terms of actual stuff, but we're like talking about different sets. We're not just racing through a bunch of packs of the same thing. We actually have to change up, you know, LOB to MRD and all that stuff. So we got say when it's released and everything. So that'll slow it down a little bit. Opening whole new boxes. They're not pre-opened. So... It might take as long as that one. That one was pretty long. I don't remember what it ended up being. I think it was like an hour and a half, maybe. Succubus Knight, we have a Red Eyes Black Dragon. There we go. LOB is not going to let us down. We are pulling insane today. We're pulling a good card in like every box. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Larvis, Reaper of the Guards. My Reaper of the Guards will destroy you, Yugi. Yeah. Hey, Yugi. Hey. Hey, uh, hey, Yug. Hey, uh, Yug. Continuing, pushing ourselves to pull. What do we want? Tryon or Gaia? They're both pretty good. Honestly, there's you can't really go wrong. They're both good. Gaia is actually rarer in terms of first edition. Pot agreed. Um, we still haven't gotten a secret yet, though. So maybe this is the one we don't get a secret. We have Enchanted Mermaid. There's the Tryon. There we go. Not going to leave us without a secret. That's a beautiful card. Very nice. Trihorn Dragon. Pretty awesome. Two packs left of Legend of Blue Eyes. Then we're done with halftime. We're back onto the second half of opening every set all year. 
Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's been fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this revisit of the every, every set in general. But then, of course, the uh, the reprints are great. All right, we're into the first half of the year. June 23rd, Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge, guys. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Talk about... Man, this feels like a long time ago this set came out. It's pretty crazy. We, we never pulled that Gaia, dude. Or, God, I'm still saying it. I'm still saying Gaia. Dark Magician. I don't... Like, I was saying that earlier in the year and i'm still saying it all right five card packs this one will be uh slightly quicker than those other ones but let's see if we can get something big book of eclipse we're gonna have all foils in this opening which will be nice we got the uh the origin of stinky p here which is fun the original stinky p we have to pull one and i can never actually see the card we pull it i'm like what did i pull it okay bless us with something big let's go we have a divine arsenal zeus i forgot that was in here this is a reprint set i guess so been a while since we've opened this set it has tw 25 25th anniversaries i remember so definitely a quite a few to open up and potential at some good ones we have a carrot we have a elemental hero very nice elemental hero news we have volcanic we have Ogre Dance Secret. Can we get... I don't remember what the big ones are. I mean, Zeus is probably nice. Super Poly is probably decent. I'm going to try to pull out the ones that I think are good, but it's been quite a while. This set, I mean, as I said, in June, I mean, it's been six months. Assault Synchron, that used to be a good one. I think it fell off pretty quickly. It was like a $30 card to start. Maybe even more than that. Pre-release was probably insane, but... Junk Archer, it's a good card, but I don't think it's gonna be worth much. Battles of Legend, monster. This was weird that we had Battles of Legend. Rocket Coder was a good one, like in the middle of the year, which they used to do, and then now it's, you know, it was ended the year for a while. All right, Monster's Revenge. After this, it looks like we have like eight sets maybe left, seven, something like that. Draco Berserker, the Tinny, I'm not exactly sure. There is one more speed duel, so that one will be very quick. Um, the rest look like they're going to be... Are they all booster boxes besides Legendary Collection? I think so, which we can get some promos in, which is fun. Dark Hole. Will we get the Dark Magician? That'd be so cool if we pulled it. Nightmare Corruptor Ible. Because that's one that we... Uh, it was one of our goals we never hit was the Dark Magician. I was like, I, I'm not going to open a million boxes because it was like 25 different ones. I was like, it's going to take so long. We just decided not to do it. I can't remember why we had a lot of, a lot of things. Xtox Hydra, I remember you. Certainly remember you. I think we had, yeah, we had done Wild Survivors. We'd gone hard for that. So I kind of took a break on this one. We only opened a few cases. We didn't open our crazy 10 cases to get it or whatever, which are very fun, but very exhausting. Five packs left of Battles of Legend. Monstrous Revenge. We have a Madolce Queen Tiramisu. Four packs left. What will we get? Battlefield Tragedy. Three packs left. Will it be epic? Oh, there's a Dark Magician. Okay, he's not the he's not the quarter century version, but he's pretty cool. We have the Book of Eclipse. We haven't opened a CR set in a while. I guess. Oh, the next one is a CR set. Okay. And Draco Berserker of the Tinny. No quarter century that time, unfortunately. All right, early June, June 2nd, Wild Survivors released. You guys remember what we did with this one. We went for that Hungry Burger. The Hungry Burglar. That was a really fun opening. Searching for that burger, and it took forever, too. My goodness, the burger was not easy to cook. He was not letting us cook. Let's see if we can let he'll let us cook this time. All right, there's a super right off the bat. Yeah, that's... Going to be a lot of rucks and specials straight to the card on these. Uh, we're not doing any pack trick ones. It's going to be tough on these collector rare sets, which this was the last collector rare set besides Valiant Smashers. There's Mad Love. There went there was a five month gap between collector rare sets. So only now they did three this year. They just kind of had a shorter gap at the beginning. Interesting. Enemy controller. Did that get a collector rare? I can't remember. I definitely didn't pull it if it did. Or did I? Wait, now that I'm thinking about it. No, Econ got an ulti. That's what I was thinking of. Ulti uh, in OTS. That's what it was. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't... It might have gotten a collector rare, but I didn't pull that one. I definitely pulled the ulti Econ, though. We have a super... Pretty cool. Wild Survivors. Survive the wild. We have Vanquished Soul. Man, this is a crazy opening. Man, th there are so many releases this year. I have a suspicion there will not be as many next year. One, because there won't be five at once in July, you know, kind of like they did with the reprints. Or at least there probably won't be. I don't know for sure. Uh, so next year, there's probably only going to be like 15 or 14 or whatever, you know, much less. And I, we already did a video about how there was too many releases. And many people agree with that. Many people think that was, and some people don't agree with that. But either way, you know, 
when you take away those five, it's going to be feel like a lot less, which will be good. Let's see if we can get something collector rare. No collector rare has been pulled. We have three, I think, total collector rare boxes. No, four, four. The, they were stacked at the beginning of the year. There was three in the first six months and only one in the last six months. Interesting. Okay, Animador and Arcosaur. Survived the wild, lost world. Sorting over Raptor. We have a Ivalzor. Oh, there's our first Hungry Burger. Very nice. Hungry Burglar is at it again. We have the book, the book of incantations. Few more packs left of Wisu, AKA Wild Survivors. We have Zeno. Six more packs. Can we do it? We have a Rock of the Vanquisher. I feel like that is not a good card, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. We have a Vanquished Soul, another super. Some of the sets in here, I feel like Vanquished Souls were, were they good? I feel like they were pretty good. I can't remember, but I haven't heard anything about them recently, so maybe they fell off. Or maybe they were one of those decks people thought might be good and then they weren't. That could have been the case. Okay, Vanquished Soul again. And finally, Wild Survivors first edition. Here we go. Pre-prep and a Ground Zeno. Ground Zeno was a good one originally, so. We'll take that. No collector again, though. Okay, time for Cyberstorm Access. Another core set released May 5th. So uh, Cinco de Mayo release. Pretty epic. There we go. Cyberstorm Access. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. I think it's Chaos Angel in here, right? Uh, there's obviously some... Uh, I think this set might have actually had Starlights instead of Quarter Centuries. Or maybe that was... Eh, I can't remember. This might have... I don't remember. We'll, have to, we'll just have to pull one and find out. You guys have made it this far in the video. Use my special, special comment code just so that you guys can prove that you're real fans. Say that um, Trap Tricks access the Cyberstorm. That way I will know. I will know that you guys were clutch. You made it all the way through to this part. It's not quite the end because we do still have what looks like to be five more sets after this. A couple of them a little bit shorter, Infinite Track. So really it's like three boxes and then a couple of short ones. We're getting actually pretty close to the end, but you know, people that are skipping to the end, they're skipping to like the last one or something. If you uh, made it this far watching the whole video, then you gotta use that special code. That way I'll know. I'll know for sure. I don't even remember what it was. It was something about cy accessing the Cyberstorm. Somebody accessing the Cyberstorm. I can't even remember. That's how you know it's gonna be special because you had to be there for the moment or you missed it. I think there might be just regular Starlights in this set. I could be wrong. Hopefully I'll just pull one. That'd be nice. Constellar, super. I know there was a couple of sets at the beginning of the year. Maybe it was only one that they didn't put the quarter centuries in quite yet. It probably might have been Photon Hypernova. I think that was Starlights. We have a Ice Jade. Okay, Ice Jade. You know what they say about Ice Jade. If there's an Ice Jade involved, it's probably not good. Okay, we have a uh, Time Tearing Morganite. That used to be an expensive card, but then it got a uh, OTS reprint. Uh, or at least not expensive, but had some value. Where's Wish Dragon? Oh, Wish Dragon. Haven't seen you in a while. Wish Dragon's pretty cool. Open up that Cyber Storm Access. Access the Cyber Storm. Firewall Dragon Singularity. That's another cover card. We're pulling some cover cards today. I will take it and I will not be sad. We have a Teller Knight. Alteron, Alteron, Alderon. I will be testing this on the ho on your home planet of Alderon. Let's see, what are we gonna get in the last few packs? An ultra rare ringworm. All right, ringworm. No, thank you. No ringworm here, please. Pig iron versus pig pen. We got the prodigy. That was another good one. That was kind of money as a super for a while. All right, access. I'm accessing the cyberstorm. I'm believing in you. We're gonna get something good here. Don't forget, if you guys do wanna do an opening like this yourself, go check out Saskato's link down below. And you guys can support the channel with an affiliate link by buying that. So if you guys wanna buy all these sets in one big group, could be cool, could be fun. And uh, you don't have to do it. Tra oh, that's what it was. Trap Tricks accessing the Cyberstorm. That's what it was. Five more packs of Cyberstorm Access. Are we gonna get something big? A Teller Knight, that's not big. I believe in you, Cyberstorm Access. I believe, there's a Teller Knight Constellar something. <laughs> something, three packs left. Are we gonna get it? Come on, come on. Starlight Rare. All right, Super Heavy Samurai, another Super. Susanowo, Shanowo, not Susanowo, it's different. Different thing, we have a wannabe, I don't wanna be anything other than what I'm gonna pull right now. It's gonna be a starlight. I'll be on the Saints Fire Dragon, that's pretty good. We'll take that, all right, no starlight that time, that's okay. We are officially all the way back in April on the 21st, Legendary Collection 25th anniversary. This was one of the most exciting releases. People were pumped about this. 
awesome potential car. Let's see what we got in our promo. Oh, we can't see it just yet. Wait, when? how do you see it? I think it's like, wait. Oh, there's my promo. Okay. I was like, where'd my promo go? Okay, we figured out what we got. I was like, did I get chipped out of this? That would suck. All right, here we go. Let's get our obelisk out. We know what we got. Obelisk the Tormentor. Back looks pretty clean. Maybe we can grade it. Got all our guys. We got the 25th anniversary obelisk. Beautiful. Then we have our six packs. We do get Dark Crisis this time, which we have not opened today because they didn't get a booster box. Sorry, Dark Crisis. Hate that that happened to you. Will we get, okay, Berserk Dragon Hollow. That's pretty good. Outstanding Dog Marin. Pretty cool. Let's do Spell Ruler. See if we can get that tune we didn't get earlier. That'd be pretty epic. Liquid Beast. We got all the secrets we wanted besides the tune. Can't really complain. We have DD Borderline. We have a Chaos End. Soul Tigre. Metal Raiders. 25th Anniversary. Let's see what we can get you. Rocco Grigrotto. Elegant Egotist. I can't do it my voice. It's a little bit, it's definitely deeper than that. Elegant Egotist. No, it just sounds like me talking. <laughs> okay. All right. Our final pack for the Legendary Collection. We are, we're getting really close to the end, guys. This video is, maybe, maybe it will be an hour. It's not going to be too bad, I think. All right. Nothing super exciting in that Legendary Collection, but that leads us right into March 31st with the release of Speed Duel GX, Duelist of a Shadow. Here we go. Let's just do a little opening there. Let's open the promo pack. They, there are, as I said, a bunch of structure decks in here. So here's some of the characters you're going to get. Uh, you're going to get some of their decks. So here you go. You can pause it right there if you want to see. There's the Sacred Beast, of course, and then our promo. So we're not going to check out those decks right now because we have been opening for quite a while today. Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. I think that's guaranteed, right? I don't remember. The, I remember, if you guys remember this opening, that little package you open up wants to stick to your hand. It's so annoying. Hamani, I think these are guaranteed. Raviel, these are not. Super Poly, very nice reprint. We got Shining Flare Wingman, Arm Dragon, Allure. And Cyber Dragon. Wow, that's pretty nice. Very nice. I remember that really destroyed Raw Yellow Mega Pack, though. All right, guys, only three more releases. We're on March 10th, all the way back on March 10th of last year. Maze of Memories. You guys remember this one. Searching for that Gate Guardian Collector Rare. This was a super fun set to open up. It actually did pretty well, I think. And the, the price of it held up fairly decently. Maze of Memories. Let's just get to it. I want to get that Hungry Burger. Not Hungry Burger. Sorry, that's the last one. Gate Guardian Collector Rare. Uh, I would have liked that Hungry Burger. We, of course, didn't get it. We have not pulled a Collector Rare in this video. We have pulled one quarter century, so I can't be mad about that. Uh, we got a Guardian Chimera. Nice printing. We'll take it. There's a, what? Isn't this where Baron is? So Baron is destroyed now because it has a Rarity Collection print. Uh, fortunate and unfortunate, at, both at the same time. But as you can see, they've already reprinted some of the cards from earlier in the year. March, March, we, we printed the CR Baron and it was reprinted in November. Eight months. Didn't even make it a year. Pretty crazy. Guardian of Water and Thunder. And that was a really popular card. I remember people at uh, events were just going by like, anybody got a CR Baron? Like that was one of the number one uh, cards people wanted. Labyrinth Wall. And I obviously didn't have any. <laughs> I think I pulled one. Like I, I don't remember what. Did I keep it? I feel like I kept it for a while and then I and then I sold it eventually because I was like, it's probably going to get a reprint, and, you know, and it's just like, oh, and then it did get a reprint. So it was actually worth the sale. OK, we have Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. I love the Gate Guardian pieces. This was such a fun set. Such a fun set. Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. Thunder and Wind. Wind and Water. Thunder and Wind. Combine together. Gate Guardian begin. I don't know. I just made that up. That actually sounded pretty good, though. That was off the top of my head. Oh. Oh, we got some. Wait, what? Oh, that's collector. I thought it was a quarter century for a second. We got something. Is it a gate guardian? Come on, baby. Give us that gate guardian. Labyrinth wall. Ooh, guardian chimera collector rare. I'll take that. That's super nice. Wait, why do I feel like this is in rarity collection too? Was this in rarity collection? If it is, this was a rarity collection was a, was an affront on Maze of Memories. They personal they took it personal and took out Maze of Memories. Because that feels like I've seen that in Collector Rare recently. I feel like that might be in it, but I'll take it. Collector Rare, not bad. You'll probably know as soon as you see the price on the screen if it's in Rarity Collection. If it's like 10 bucks, then it's in Rarity Collection. All right, there's Mech Knight. Either way, we got a Collector Rare. I can't be mad about that. And uh, so we've gotten a Collector Rare. We've gotten a Quarter Century and Secrets, obviously. The only thing we haven't gotten is... We didn't get an ulti out of Rarity Collection because of the weird error. We haven't gotten a Starlight or a Ghost. Yeah, a Ghost we can only get in that one pack, so we're not going to get a Ghost. But 
still, we'll take it. Wow, this has been quite the video. We've done well, we've pulled well. I mean, that's fun. That's what happens when you buy from reputable sellers. You know, you get one actually out of a case that's untampered with. Pretty exciting. So shout out to Sassy Auto for being an awesome seller. That's why I recommend him. Even if he doesn't have the, the lowest price, which he does sometimes, uh, but even if he doesn't have the absolute lowest price, you just know that he's gonna be legit. He's gonna handle you. If so, that sounded weird. He's, he's gonna handle your order well, uh, but if like something weird happens, like, you know, it gets lost or whatever, he's gonna refund you. He's gonna send you a legit like loose box. He's not gonna send you some thing where he pulled the, the all the good cards and then ships out the, the dud boxes on purpose. So just a good guy to deal with. And also, you know, now a friend of mine, which is great. So very, very cool. Shout out to him once again, I, which we do pretty often. There's Firewall Dragon. Uh, that is not a great card here. <laughs> Not a great card. That's okay though. We've done pretty well in this box. We have on your mark, get set, do. I'm just impressed by my water and wind rhyme. Like I, I can't believe I just whipped that out. That was pretty awesome. Last pack of Maze of Memories. Here we go. If you guys are still watching at this point, you are an ultra legend. We have a Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. That was another one that was in here. That's in Rarity Collection. So that's definitely crushed value. Two boxes left. This is the first core set of the year. February 10th, 2023, Photon Hypernova. And this was a good one, guys. This was a really good one. Photon Hypernova was an absolute beast of a set. Let's see if we can get some crazy good pulls here. This box feels like extra thick for some reason, probably because I just opened a CR set and they never, oh, this is a Euro box. That might be why too, but they're usually a little bit bigger. All right, Photon Hypernova, give us something epic Starlight wise. Come on, I think this is a Starlight rare. Uh, not a collector rare, or not a, sorry, Starlight Rare, not a QCR set. Let's see, Galaxy Summoner, we have a Gold Pride, Nitro Head. Yeah, these definitely are Euro cards, you can tell. The box is, gives it away, but then the feel of the cards is much different. We have the, ooh, the Gragonal, the Dusk Dragon, very nice. Can't remember if I ever sold my Starlight, I had a Starlight of that, yeah, oh, there it is, yeah, because there's a Starlight Rare, so yeah, it was a Starlight. Sneaky C, it was a Starlight set, not a quarter century set, I guess this was, I don't remember if Cyberstorm was or not. There could have been two of them like that. Plunder Patrol ship, very nice. Very good stuff. We have made it a long way. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this long video. You've enjoyed my ramblings as we've been going. And uh, let me know if you wanna see that top 10 sets ranks, or top 10 sets of the year ranked. There we go, that's a good way to say that. Uh, but you know, I've been talking a while, guys. I've been talking a while, I'm losing it a little bit. I don't know what I'm saying. Couple of aces, we have Galactic Karibo. Pretty cool card, I'm gonna set that one aside. All right, let's see what we can get the rest of the way. It's been a great opening. I'm hoping we can continue this and just finish off with like Starlight Rare and then our last set, get another Collector Rare. That'd be pretty epic. Uh, I believe it can happen. Cashier or Rise Heart, that's a pretty good one. I think that used to be like 20. I think it went down quite a bit. I think it might've gotten a reprint already and maybe the Mega 10 or something like that. Giant ball game. They're running out of reprints because they're doing so many reprint sets. So they have to reprint stuff like right away. Ultimate Great Insect, Great Insecto. That is not the Pecan Yamar. All right, Casamola. Triple Tactics Thrust, what an opening. Oh my goodness. This card's really expensive and secret. It does have an ultimate print, I think, but still crazy expensive card. That one's probably gonna get a reprint ne early next year, I would guess, whenever that, the new reprint is, but wow, yeah. Triple Tactics Thrust, we're hitting all the big cards. Like we haven't hit the biggest card in every set, but we have hit the top like two or three on a lot of them. It's been really good. That is the biggest card though, I think, and non like high rarity, just secret rare. That's pretty crazy. All right, well, okay, Rindabrum, very cool. A few more packs of Photon Hypernova. It's been quite the opening, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys are having a good Christmas season. I think we're getting pretty close to Christmas when we post this. I don't know the exact date because with the uh, 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh and everything, it's been kind of like mucky, you know, the schedule. Normally I'm not so far ahead, but because of the 11 days of Yu-Gi-Oh, we had 11 videos straight, which I did like interrupt a couple of times, I think, but you know, still a lot of videos to get through before we get to this. All right, five boxes or five, sorry, five packs left, not five boxes, 20 products open today. Ooh, gigantic champion. All right, I think that's an okay one, a couple bucks. So it's not like horrible, horrible. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. It might've only been a couple bucks when it was released. Then it's probably like nothing now, but I feel like I've seen a few of those in a collection and they were a few bucks. Apophis, all right, no, no Starlight yet, but we haven't lost hope yet. It can happen these last two packs. Okay, not that one, we got another Ultra, but it could be in this last pack right here. This is gonna be it. 
Photon Hypernova, last core pack of the year. Have a Starlight Rare. The only one or two of the Starlight sets. I'm not sure which one. We have Made to Order Mermaid Outfit Outfitter. That is a tongue twister right there. And our final box, or really our first box of the year, but our final box we're opening, released on January 20th, 2023, Amazing Defenders. And this was a set that we called Atrocious Defenders early, and guess what happened? It became amazing. And then it kind of, you know, they banned some of the cards and it kind of went back to being mid, but it started off pretty bad. And that's what these collector rare sets do. They start off, you're like, blech, gross. And I will never like the, you know, the setup of them where you have to, you know, only get three ultras and stuff but they do age pretty well sometimes. And then of course they get reprinted and they're, you know, not, not aging well, so well anymore. But if they didn't reprint them, they'd probably age crazy well. We have a Rescue Ace, we have a Super. We're gonna try to get another Collector Rare here to end this. Our last box. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys have enjoyed this. If you like the long, long video, Rescue Ace Turbulence, make sure to let me know because we'll probably do more of these in the future if you guys like these, which I think you guys do. It feels like you guys do, but I always wanna just double check because with the people who are watching this long, you guys probably do like them, <laughs> but uh, I probably should have asked it earlier, but let me know in the comments how you feel about these long ones. And maybe in the future, who knows, we might even go back and do like every set of 2015 or something like that. Would you guys want to see something like that where I got a booster box of like every set back in like some random year or something like that? That could be really fun. I mean, when you get back to the originals, obviously it gets really expensive unless you do some like reprints or something like that, but that could be pretty cool. Like that could be something fun to do, like revisit like 2015, you know, where there was some still ghost rares, there was ultimate rares in there, but not extremely like crazy. I mean, that would still be a very pricey opening. Don't get me wrong, but I bet there wasn't 20 releases back then. So that would help a little bit, probably be a little bit less, but if that's something you want to see, make sure to let me know. Wow, we are down to just a few packs left. We have opened 20 products today. It's pretty crazy. X Pearly or E Pearly, plump. The plump. We are almost a year away from this set having been released. Pretty crazy. We have Rescue again. All right, Rescue. Rescue and us. I don't think the Rescue ones are... Well, what are the good ones out of here? Because it was the pearly stuff, and that stuff got murdered by the ban list. Which I don't know if that's even changed since. I don't know if they're still banned or what. I think they are. Or maybe it's just the meta has moved past them at this point, which is definitely possible with Yu-Gi-Oh! And how quickly it moves on. Okay, amazing defenders. Come on. Rescue Ace, Monitor. Give us some good stuff, baby. Let's go. We have a Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Okay. We have a Preparation of Rights, E. Pearly. We've gotten two Ultras so far. No Collector Rare just yet, so I'm still holding out hope that can happen. Another Super. Another Collector Rare would mean we'd go over ratio, because it's one in three for Collector Rare. We've opened three boxes, we've gotten one, so... There's a My Friend Pearly. That was a pretty nice card originally. So if we were able to pull one, we'd go two for four, which would be one every two boxes instead of one every three. That'd be pretty awesome. Assault. Five packs left, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this very long video. If you have and you've made it through, whether it be in one day, multiple days, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel. As always, it's been super fun. 2023 was an awesome year and I enjoyed it. There'll be more end of the year stuff like best polls of the year and stuff coming up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that kind of content as well. Because with no new releases, I have to get a little creative, you know? I gotta actually like do some content that's not just opening new packs. All right, one for one, we have three packs left. Will we get something big? Collector rare, not in that one. Two left, come on, give it to us. Here we go, Rescue Ace. Okay, final pack magic, guys. Here we go, hit that like button for luck. Let's see if we can pull something. Do a pack trick on the final one. Let's see, no rucks and special. Sprite Blessing. We have E Pearly Happiness. Piri Erase Map, Infernal Arms. We have, oh, there it is. I forgot it wasn't gonna be at the end guaranteed. All right, okay, just a super. Overall, we did really well in this opening, pulling a lot of really good cards from the year and just kind of remembering a lot of the awesome pulls that we had to get when we were searching in these different sets. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine, 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.